Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be using the Overtone Extreme Purple and the Overtone Rose Gold Coloring Conditioner. We're also going to be showing the entire fading process using the fader. Okay, so I changed into this old t-shirt because if I get color on it, I don't want to be sad. And now I'm going to section off my hair just so I can get the color like nice and saturated. So this is the Extreme Purple and this is the rose gold. As you can see, I've already used this before. Uh, what I'm gonna do is get purple up here, up to probably here. And then right where my color starts blending into my hair, I'm gonna go in with the rose gold and kind of overlap them a little bit so I can get a nice ombre. And we're gonna be wearing some gloves today because I do not want to stain my nails and my hands. Overtone makes color depositing conditioners for different hair colors. They have colors for blonde hair, for brown hair. They also have color maintaining conditioners and are completely vegan and cruelty free, which I love. I have a bit of a reputation with like experimenting on my hair. I used to bleach my hair a lot. Um, and that caused it to be a little bit fried and damaged, so I stopped doing that a while ago. But that bug that I have that loves to experiment with hair, of course, didn't go away. And I was so glad that I found Overtone because it's made experimenting on my hair so, so fun and easy. And I've used Overtone like four or five times before and I've never seen any damage. And I'm so glad I found it because I am obsessed and I will never go back to frying my hair with dye again. It smells really, really good. It smells like mint. You can also just mix up these two colors in a bowl and, you know, get your ombre that way. All right, so the color is in. It says to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna leave it on for 15 just because I want it to be super saturated and then I will wash my hair and see you on the other side. Guys, I'm shook. Like what? Just look at this color. Oh my God, do you see that? Do you see how like the purple blends into the rose gold and kind of like turns pink at the end? This is exactly what I was going for. Just, I'm so surprised. This is so pretty. Just bringing you a little bit closer in the light. Look at that. I'm gonna live in this color for a day or two because I'm gonna be extremely sad to have to wash it off immediately because I love it so much. Uh, and I've never had a color like this, so I wanna kinda soak it in. I will check in with you post my first wash with the fader and we'll see how much of this color fades and what it looks like. The new fader from Overtone is a clarifying shampoo for all hair types which is basically meant to speed up the fading process of your hair color to either transition between colors or to go from coloring your hair with Overtone to your natural hair type. It also has other benefits like removing product buildup from your scalp and basically creating a healthy environment that allows your hair to grow. Okay, you guys, it's post wash number one with the fader, and this is what the color is looking like. You can definitely see the fade happening, especially like down here, because I know it was like rose gold when I showed you, but now it's kind of just uh, turning a light purple. In some areas, you can even like see the blonde, like for example, here I see my blonde coming through. And I am very, very excited that it didn't take off all of the color. If it did take off all of the color in one wash, I would be kind of worried about how harsh the fader was. But that's not the case. My hair feels great and my scalp feels squeaky clean. I will check in with you guys again post wash number two. Okay, so this is after wash number two with the fader. And I can already see a lot of my blonde starting to peek back through, like right here. And you can also see how a lot of the pink has faded out and on top here I do see my natural black color coming back but there's still a lot of purple here here
here. I think it's doing like a really pretty fade uh, and it's not looking like patchy or anything. This is wash number three with the fader. And as you can see, pretty much all the color down here is almost gone. I am going back slowly to my blonde and up here I still see some purple here and here but then closer to my roots I'm I'm I think 95% back to my original black color let me turn around and show you I think in one more wash the color down here close to my ends and then the color close to my root should be 100% gone. I will see you after wash number four. Wash day number four, the color is completely gone from my ends, all the blondes back. The only color that's left is still up here. It's proving to be a little bit stubborn, especially this purple, but I am enjoying the color, so I'm just gonna check in with you on the next wash and see what we see. Hi, wash number five update. My color is almost gone. I don't have like a lot of purple up here anymore. I can still see like little specks of it here and there, like here uh, and like a little bit here, but it's mostly gone and I'm almost like back to my natural hair. I'm a little bit sad, but I'm also excited to kind of now recolor my hair and just let it stay for a little bit and not have to like fade it out. But I hope you guys were able to get a good idea of how the fader works and also all the fun things you can do with your hair with Overtone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.